In today's episode, I drive through some dog poo, I crash into a wall, and then drive straight into a fence. Well, that didn't last long. So I had a front-on collision. Um, this right side here is busted up pretty good. So I crashed this buggy, snapped uh, this bit, the axle carrier, and I bent this, uh, the dog bone. Or, well, the axle. Uh, yeah, I think it's both. Some paper people. <coughs> Some people call it the dog bone because, yeah, it kind of looks like the dog bone. Yeah, so anyway, we downloaded this part from uh, Thingiverse. Uh, now we're going to... Uh, so, yep, da 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 da, WL Toys, banana, files, sweet, you can't read it, so right carrier, uh, that thing there, so we're going to print it, and uh, yeah, see how it goes. Finished, let's see how it goes. Okay, so we bent that back, it's a lot straighter than what it was, now, let's see if we can put it back together. <laughs> That didn't last long. Um, all right, next one I'm gonna print. I'm gonna print it uh, all the way through. Okay, so from like that crash, we uh, bent this plate here. It actually didn't snap, it's bent, but yeah, this is no good anymore. So I'm gonna throw that out. I've 3D printed a new one. Um, this fits, it isn't, it isn't the exact part, but all the holes do line up, which is good. And this is the axle carrier that broke. As you can see, um, this wasn't. This had quite a low infill. Uh, the infill was 15%. So now I've made another one and beefed it up to 100%. So this is solid plastic. So let's see how this one goes. Go down at the oval. Got new tires on. Let's see. Hey, here we go. Oh, oh flip. Oh. She's driving like she's good as new. Up, oh, just flipped up. Let's have a look at this. This is what is actually called. I reckon this is controlling it way better because look, I'll just show you. I'll go full trigger and it just wants to, it doesn't spin out like it used to. So that I'm pretty happy with. Oh, just looked at there. Yeah. 
Wow, this spoiler's really improved it. I can't. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I just pull the trigger down and no wheel spin. Doesn't flip out. Yeah, the 3D printed uh, the 3D printed parts are holding up pretty good. I think. Um, yeah, in there. And this this thing and the spoiler. Ooh. I've used PLA to print this. PLA is quite brutal. So. I think if I crash into anything hard, it's just going to snap. Um, yeah, like I did before. Oi, straight through the dog poo. Fantastic. Jesus. Oh, mate, this is great fun. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, no. Out of battery. Well guys, it's kind of a bit too dark, so I'm going to test this thing. What do you know? On the, um, the other hard surface, it doesn't like going, uh... It doesn't go straight, right? I'll do it full throttle. Just get out. Oh, man, those tyres love the grass. Oy. Spoiler. Oh man, look at that. So, like I said, fragile. Alright, no. That over there with the other part. Oh man! So, yeah, cracked off here and down here where it actually joins um, so yeah this is definitely crash it is going to bust it um, yeah it's not a bumper it's a spoiler so yeah it just crumbled really but in saying that it did take a few whacks before I was able to crack it off so guys um, final summation is it feasible to print in 3d parts absolutely um, these parts have held up pretty good on um, this this sucker here, uh, the front spoiler obviously it's uh, it, it's gonna break number one because it's like a spoiler uh, to keep to keep it down. It's not a bumper, um, so yeah, that's that off. And to be fair, I was bashing a uh, <laughs> a racer, so that is yeah, that was always bound to happen. Um, it, my recommendations: if you are gonna three D print, don't use a don't go to a hundred percent infill. Don't use an infill um, because I know it's always tempting to use an infill because you can really shorten the um, the time it takes to print it, but it's just they're gonna break uh, if you have any crash. I mean, to be fair, um, the one I built with a 15% infill, it did last a little bit, but yeah, it did inevitably break. 100% um, infill is the way to go for structural parts. I use PLA, it's not, um, it doesn't have a heated bed or anything, so it's not anything special. It's like one of the cheapest ones you can buy. Um, all my stuff I download from Thingiverse and it, yeah, it just prints straight away. So yeah, with the control arm, that works actually, you know, it worked and they're structural parts. So overall, I'd say um, eight out of 10 for 3D printed parts on this build. Hey